I come from a checkered past, broken home, lived in the projects, dope house, crack house, bootlegger's house. I've been around all of that growing up. I was even told once I wouldn't probably see my 18th birthday. So when I speak to the kids about that, I'm giving them an idea that, hey, you know, I might make a mistake or I might be in this type of environment, but there's a guy who's been through what I'm going through and I can talk to them. Now I can listen to them. I see what they're trying to do. And that helps us with the Concerned Cop program to really reach out and really be able to touch these kids. I have a heart for it, I have a passion, I just love kids. So no matter where I've been, I've coached, I've mentored, I've done this and that. I've just been fortunate enough and blessed enough to be able to help kids. There's been a problem for a long time in regards to the relationship between the community and the police. Concerned Cops gives us an opportunity to come into the schools and speak with the kids and see what's on their mind. I find that when you allow them to say what's on their mind, it's easier to figure out what you need to talk about and then you can work things out. They begin to see us in a different light, not the bad guy that they see on social media all the time when they show negative things. Concerned Cops gives us the opportunity to work on the community relationship it also gives us an opportunity to work on some of the individuals who may not have that stable background at the house that they need to help them prepare to be a better person in society when they get a little older. Uh, did she use my taser? Never judge a book by its cover. Meaning, I tell a lot of the kids I speak with, you see this badge, you see a cop, but you don't know the man behind that badge. Because some of us have been through some things. Some of us we brought up on the wrong side of the track and been through some things, but we were able, to, because we had a great teacher, we had a great coach, we had great community awareness in the church. No matter what, they taught us some things to help us make better decisions. And even though everybody makes mistakes when you're young, it's when you get older what you learn from those mistakes, and that goes back to this program. Y'all are smart. Don't let nobody tell you you're not. It's funny because in the beginning, you see them kind of being apprehensive about speaking with us, but once they learn, we're just people who've been through some things, trying to help them to learn how to go through some things, and they open up. One of the biggest things is them wanting to stay even after we run out of time. They want to ask us more questions. They want to talk more. Now, we have them thinking about, okay, I see somebody that's going through what I've gone through or I've been through. I can do it. It gets them to thinking, and they want to ask more questions. And if they're going to ask us more questions, they're going to be asking teachers more questions, which is going to help them get their education, it's going to help them make better decisions now and later on when they grow up. What I would like for them to take away is that there are some people out here who really are in their corner and they really care about them and that they are our most important thing that we think about every day when we come to work.